we are all the same. Different words, different bodies, different versions, like insects, meats. Hi, my name is John Doe. I've done 45 commentaries so far, and you know something? I sort of enjoy this. So come and spend some time with me as I tuck into Possession. The year is 1981. Ha 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 ha. Possession, directed by Mr. AZ. I can't pronounce his name. Foreign name. Tricky. Anybody interested in syncing up with my film commentary for Possession? Set your timestamp to zero. Film on pause. Subtitles on. I'll give you a countdown in five. Five, four, three, two, one. Hit play. I feel like I need to get my head examined attempting to do a film commentary for this movie. My goodness. All kinds of crazy. Do, do. There she is, is Isabella Adjani, Sam Neill. Possession. Fucking, fucking crazy. Losing my fucking mind. Ah, fabulous movie. I've only ever seen this once, guys, but boy, did it leave an impression. There she is. Method acting on fucking steroids. Isabella Adjani, what a performance, man. Holy fucking shit. So husband and wife, husband's returning. You got your suitcase. You gonna say anything, love? You don't know. She doesn't know. She's not sure, mate. Take your time. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, lovers. Having a moment. Difficult relationship, these two. You know? We're going to witness it all, guys. Strap yourself in. Get give, give yourself a stiff drink as well, I insist. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Oh, she's quite extraordinary in this film. It's just got to be one of the best filmic performances ever from an actress. It's quite remarkable what she achieves in this film. So, Isabella Ajani, she's playing the character of Anna slash Helen. And then we've got Sam Neill playing the character of Mark. So it's a relationship, it's issues, normal stuff for a while. Oh, it's very difficult, love. Spending time with me. I am Sam Neil. So he's obviously working away at the moment. She's got the little one to deal with. She's very, very emotional. No. You're the one that's being unfaithful. Spoiler alert. Oh, I feel like you need to get it out in the open, Sam. Mark. Sometimes, guys, I do refer to... I tend to use, like, actors' names. I will try to remember their character names, but... I mean, these are two, like, recognisable actors. So it really doesn't matter. This camera's panning right. Camera's roaming. So, Mark's profession, we're not entirely sure. Get a little uh, conference call here. 
very sparse interior table four men and a mark quite like the lights in here you're getting the it's quite bright outside isn't it sort of naturalistic lighting very nice so this film feels slightly low budget but it works beautifully i mean the cinematography is spec i mean look at this shot here it's just rotating around the table fabulous Yeah, the director, he feels like a bit of a auteur of this uh, movie. Yeah, very distinctive, memorable performances, fabulous music. Pink socks. So you get some amazing shots around the city. Just the roaming camera, lots of like tracking shots. It's fabulous to look at. So what is going on here? He's pulling out, is that money? He's got a lot of money in a briefcase. Suited and a booted. Beautiful low angle shot here. Very nice. So he's back in the apartment. Where's Anna to? She's not fucking roaming about the city, causing trouble. Oh, shit. I love Sam Neill. He looks so good in a suit. Young Sam Neill as well. Very, very nice. You'll see, he's had a quite uh, <clears throat> extraordinary, extraordinary career, hasn't he? Uh, Dead Calm, In the Mouth of Madness, Jurassic Park, Event Horizon... He's always been, he makes interesting choices as an actor. I always feels, feel like he's going against type, you know? Always testing himself with different roles, different movies, different genres as well. Oh, where's she to? She's downtown. Fuck. Survival tip, mate. Don't wait for this bitch. She's out of control. Yeah, the relationship, it's spiralling out of control. As I said, guys, get yourself a stiff drink and strap yourself in. Oh, I love this shot. The manic nature is just roaming around the interior. He's checking all of his suits. Hyperactive, isn't he? That's what I do enjoy about the cinematography in this film. It really reflects the psychology of the key characters. So he's got Holy Bible. What is this? Can't translate any of this. Principles of Perception. Very cool. It's obviously well read. Obviously checking old photographs, letters. It's like a postcard. Another postcard. Wonderful. I've seen half of God's face here. The other half is you, Heinrich. Ooh. Is there another man? Oh, that's never good if there's another man. So who's this Heinrich guy? Yeah, I was a quite um, annoyed with myself. I only saw this film recently, last like couple of months, and I'm in like my forties, and I've always had a thing for like cult cinema, especially horror. Yeah, so this one slipped under my radar, but very nice to finally sit down and watch it. Yeah, I was blown away first viewing. I was like, wow, what a movie. Yeah, it completely goes off on one. And it's very unique. There's really nothing else like possession. Yes, yeah, phenomenal. So I'm quite interested to see what I'm going to um, pick up on on the second viewing, you know. It's always good to go back to movies. See if you see anything new. So he's dropped the phone. 
phone's ringing. An orange phone. He's on his uh, fucking rocking chair. Oh, he's doubting the relation. Yeah, he's like, there's another man, isn't there? Tell me. Who the fuck is it? It's not who you think it is, right? Ain't fucking Heinrich. Spoiler alert. He's some slippery ass fucking alien. He sat in his bed. Spoiler alert. Apologies. Well, she's technically getting it on with a few. Well, there's another man. And then we're not quite sure what the other thing is. The other thing's fucking NA. Not applicable. Unknown. Ah, uh, it's not who you think it is, but the paranoia is cranking up with Mark. Sam Neill selling it well. Oh, this is a memorable sequence in the restaurant. Oh, it royally kicks off here. All oh, separate tables. Don't want to sit with each other. Can't even make eye contact. Look. Oh, they're already thinking about separating. So fucking hell, not hanging about. So is that the sun? Oh, it's pretty bleak from the father figure. It's like disconnecting. I guess he just wants out. Oh, Mark is fucking simmering. Look at him. Performances are amazing here. So she's a restless old soul. Oh no, it's very inhuman, mate. Oh, it's going to last... Oh, two weeks, three... It's going to last forever, mate. Oh, that's gone with this chick. She's fucking gone. The beautiful thing about this film. Oh, shit. He's launching the fucking plates. Where's the fucking waiter to? Or the fucking uh, manager? So he fucking trashed the joint. Oh, come here, bitch. Oh, yeah. Toss some fucking chairs and see the tables. Get here, you fucking bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking trash the place. Shit, baby. Yeah, all oh, chefs are taking a tumble. They got him. At least he went out all guns blazing, as you do. I guess Mark is justified, isn't he? You know, he's like, you cheating bitch. The problem is, as you're going to see, he's not going to... Oh, he has not shaved for a while. Doesn't look like he's slept in like fucking weeks. He's struggling, struggling to speak. Oh, I can't speak. I'm in this weird ass fucking movie and city. This city's weird. It's fucked me up. Oh, I can't speak. My, my name, my, my. Oh, he's writhing in his bed. It's like De Niro and Taxi Driver. It's all fucked up. Oh, it's got empty bottles. I like the little details to the left. Tossing and a turning. This is wonderful from Sam Neill. Fucking hell, man. What a relentless fucking movie from an acting level. Jesus. Oh, shaking like a fucking dickhead. Oh, 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 oh. Has he been popping pills? Oh, oh, shit, baby. Oh, you got to take a tumble. Oh, oh, he's off. He's out of the bed. Oh, now he's fucking leaving his... Oh, mate, you don't want to hit the city. You fucking train wreck. Look at him. He's just a railed fucking train. Oh. Wow. Super intense. Camera work's fantastic, because these shots tend to play out. 
Look at the state of his fucking interior. Space. Slob. Oh, camera's just roaming left. Oh, who is it? Is it her? Christ, look at the state of him. Is it Anna slash Helen? It's the ca oh, 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 oh. Can't speak. Three weeks. Jesus. Three weeks of absolute madness. Well, assuming if... Oh. Oh, it's the little one. Oh, he's finally had a shave. He's just... Son's not going to fucking recognise him. He's like, you fucked off, mate. So clearly, Anna slash Helen, she's not been around much. Look at the state of the interior. Oh, this film, it's so fucking grubby, isn't it? That's what I love about it. It's the absolute realism of the performances, the interior spaces, the city itself. Heightened fucking realism. And then you offset that with the supernatural element. I think it works beautifully. Yeah, you get these like domestic issues and then you end with like the fantastical. It really drives it home for like shock value for me. Oh, he's remembering his son. Yeah, don't let it go. You can still be here for the little one, mate. Oh, he loves rocking in his chair. God, Sam Neil looks like he's lost his fucking mind. Here she is. Oh, she's, oh he's, he's still rocking. He's going to stop very soon. Is it time to sh shots shots to be fired? Look at the state of her. Beautiful. I love the camera work. Going in and out of focus. Fucking amazing. What an amazing shot. You're getting him in focus. We rocks back. She's in focus. So he's picking up on the... It's like, where the fuck are... Yeah, look at the state of our kid. You're not around, love. Thing is, he is he ain't got a fucking clue as to what she's going through, you know. She's well and truly fucking tormented, this girl. He won't let go though. Wow. God, what a pleasant movie, eh? Jesus. It's telling her to make the call. Look at the state of her eyes. So she's packing up. Bloody hell. She's just run off. Oh, shit. I wouldn't follow. Oh, she's sat in the toilet. Yeah, she's so distressed, man. Look at her. This has got a kind of... Any film histor historians or anyone who's studied film at a high level, this has got like a... It feels very like French New Wave, doesn't it, you know? All about the performances. Single camera shots. All in the dialogue, and the, yeah, the performances are like oh, sort of hyperactive, aren't they? So is he tidying his wife up? How fucking odd. Oh, God. Surely not a sex, sequ oh, sex sequence. I thought the relationship was done for. So they're having a moment. Are they rebonding? Yeah. She's completely naked. So he's tucking her in. 
he's just trying to help her. Yeah, I don't think the screaming and the fucking slanging match is of much use now. Just try and... It's about being there for the child, and it? Sell your differences. I know it's difficult for Mark, because he's fully aware that she's, she's fucking cheating on him. Oh, is that Heinrich? So getting a feel for this Heinrich character. Mark's like, I need to meet my love. I had to go to talk to Margie. Okay. So what I enjoy about the opening of the movie, it's very much... You're getting a lot of Sam Neill. There's nothing wrong with that. I think he's very, very good in this. Yeah, he's got his sonar locked in on this fucking Heinrich guy. Hello. Oh, he's having a look in the phone book. Is that the equivalent of like the, is it a yellow pages or phone directory, I guess? Oh, it's the little boy. Yeah, the little one's got to be picking up on uh, mummy and daddy. Shouting at each other constantly. I love how they like... I love how, like, the characters are dressed in this film. Like, Sam Neill here, like, his shirt unbuttoned. Yeah, it's a lot. It just sort of reflects the the manicness throughout. So this is quite a nice sequence. It feels like the first moment of, like, normality. So he takes the kid to uh, school. Oh. So how odd is this? I'm a little bit confused here. Yeah, what's... Is it her? I forget this bit. Aren't there... She plays, like, dual characters, doesn't she? So there's Anna and this Helen. Oh, this is Heinrich. Yeah, there's one version of her that's, uh, like, a school teacher. Oh, Heinrich. This guy is truly fucking odd. He's a man full of like, it comes out with the most like random quotes you've ever heard. He's a bit of a like philosopher, scholar. He's a deep thinker, his old Heinrich. Trying to swim in the fucking babbling lake, the shores of mankind. Oh, he's very touchy feely, isn't he? Oh, let's be open, you've got your fucking shirt undone, mate. But I am not. Oh, do you want to see in the well of my fucking soul? Oh, I'm suffering in the nihilism of my inevitable fucking existence. I've got many books that can help you in life. If you're struggling, try and read these. Indoctrinated with words? Possibly. I feel like Anna is very much a sensory, physical beast. Oh, you comprehend that you love her? Oh, this is phenomenal. So, this is Heinz Bennett. Very cool is Heinrich. Yeah, the casting is absolutely perfect in this movie. Precisely. I love his accent. I love the performance. So quirky. The affinity to accept. Why do you speak so weird, mate? It's like this guy's literally fallen out of a fucking book. This guy's like a fictional character from a like, fucking War and Peace. F- 
physically content. I make her very content. Do you want to see my dick? The harmony of the mind. It, you must have physical, but the mind... Oh, this is Heinrich's mother. My mother bathed in black. She's a nihilist like me. Oh, of course. Do you want to watch? Oh, he's a black belt. Oh, don't fight him. You're going to get shredded. Oh, Mark's getting taken out. Heinrich. Oh, Jesus. Brutal. Controlled, but very devastating. Ah, this is your blood. You see your blood on your face. Lick it up. Taste the, the bleakness of your blood. Oh, he's so strange, isn't he? Oh, Heinrich's like, are you trying that manoeuvre? Oh, straight in the chest. Stop, Mark. You're putting yourself through the ringer, mate. Oh, it's a fireman's lift from Heinrich. So you toss him outside, never to return. I've warned you once. Next time I'll fucking kill you. So this is Adjani back as... We're assuming this is Anna. Yeah, it's a little bit confused because you've got these like dual characters. It's really, really strange. But it does make sense come the end of the movie. I think I'm reading this right, guys. Yeah, there's, there's like dual characters, isn't there? Yeah. He's not the man. Oh, she's... Wow, look at this. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, it's so fucking intense. What's a banging cutlery? Jesus, she is. She's so scary, man. Credit to Sam Neill, though. He, he can more than hold his own. But I, I've got to say, she is a whole different level as an actress. She's got, the, she's got it in the eyes and the physicality. So, so she manifests like physical stress and pain. And then terror. Look at this. Ah! Jesus. Don't follow her. She's fucking crazy, mate. She's giggling. She's just getting hysterical now. Oh, yeah, I fuck around. I'm gonna do yeah, crazy. What the fuck, you know, man? Yeah, why would you want to? I'd be out of there. I was like, you're all kinds of crazy. Oh, shit. I'm really trying to provide a commentary here, but these performances are just. Fucking drugged up. Wow. Bit slap and tickle. Oh, he likes a bit of physical pain. Thing is, I don't I don't think you want the pain being inflicted by this bitch. Oh, she's so good, man. What a performance. And we've not even got to the legendary Is it underground sequence? Fucking hell, man. Jesus. You do... Wow. Slapping the shit out of her. This is pretty fucking brutal. Yeah, he needs to stop here. This is like physical abuse. Has she been asking for it? Takes two to tango. I think he's crossed the line here. This is for everything. 
Yeah, okay. Let go, mate. Great subjective camera. Reflecting the pain back at the audience. Wow, she's she's just phenomenal. As I said, this is one of the best acting performances ever in cinema. Is he going to now follow her? Oh, for fuck's sake. It just keeps going and going. Oh, mate, man. You're fucking possessed. Great camera work. Tracking around the stairs. Look at these. Jesus. Look at the state of her. Blood-covered face. I love you. Oh, look at the blood. Fucking hell. Jesus. Your first... Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, everything's gone to shit here. Oh, the wildness. Oh, she's transitioning. The call of the fucking beast. Oh, it's roaming hour for this bitch. Truly spectacular, guys. Half an hour in. It's just unbelievable. It truly is. So we got a new character. This is Margit. She's got a walking issue. So she's a talkative soul like old fucking Heinrich. So she's keen to strip him naked out in the open as she do. Are you still full of belief, Mark? The way I string together words with my accent. Oh, it's all about misery. To these city folk, they feed off misery. Yeah, wherever this film's set to, whatever city it is, I'm never, I'm never going there. I just fear for my uh, sanity, you know. So has he got himself a new apartment? I'm assuming. And he's had to move out, I guess. What is this? Maybe not. No, 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 no. Totally confused guy. He's meeting up with somebody. Ah, it's a private detective. Yeah, he's not giving up on this. Track my wife. 24-7. I want to know everything. Apart from the fact that she's fucking terrifying. She roams the city all hours of the fucking day and night. I never see her. I need to know what's going on. There's a Heinrich and some other fucking sleazeball that she's getting it on with. I'm not sure who the other person is. What? Does she have a job? I saw her in a fucking school a moment ago. The fuck? So I am right, yeah. Because on the uh, credits, it's got her down as Anna and Helen. So she's definitely playing two different roles. I think it just adds to the the... The madness and mystery of the film. So it's the little one. He's probably thinking, what the fuck is going on with my parents, man? You telling me these two fucking birthed me? What the fuck? I'll be looking for new parents. It's like, guys, oh, some bad news. I need to fucking disown you two. You're too, too fucking crazy. Yeah, i got to crack on with school. I can't have my mother bombing about the city covered in blood. And my sweaty ass father who never fucking shaves. Fuck this. Very nice. Oh. Somebody's foot in plaster. Who is it? Oh, it's her again. Okay. 
That's why she couldn't walk properly. It's a bit of lovemaking. I feel like Mark don't fucking care. He's just, oh, if my wife's, you know, playing away. It's the camera pulling back exterior. They look like soldiers. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure which city this is set in. I don't really don't think it doesn't really matter though. Oh, here she is. She's back. She's never fucking. She's so like on edge, man. Oh god, don't let her cut up fucking meat. I'd be out of that kitchen. Her uh, fucking wielding knives. Fit. Oh, just don't mark. Don't stand so fucking close to her, you idiot. She's locked and fucking loaded, this chick. Do you know what? Oh, she's going to fucking shred him. He's, she, the best thing he can do is just rein it in. He's, trig he's triggering her. So the raw meat. Who's the raw meat for, bitch? Time for talking's done, Mark. It's over. So this is, again, referring back to the title of the film, Possession. He feels, like, possessive of her. So all these little, like... You get a little bit of, like, subtext throughout. Many ways of reading the film. They all seem a bit possessed, don't they? He's possessed by her. He can't let go. And then, obviously... We find out what's possessing her later on. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Oh, what the fuck is she doing? She's shredding the raw meat. Putting it through the blender. Afraid to tell you. You wouldn't fucking believe her if she told you the full fucking story. You'd be carting her ass off to the loony wing. Oh, what sh Oh, he's a... He's fucking cracking. Oh, shit. Oh, no. What's she doing? Oh, she's cutting her fucking neck. What the fuck? So you're really starting to pick up on uh, her like internal conflict struggle. Yeah, she's not herself. Look, look. She's fucking possessed, man. Yeah, she's definitely she's switching over constantly. Where's the real Anna to? Or is she forever gone? Fucking hell. I guess you've got to give Mark some credit, man. To still be hanging around at this point. Fucking hell. They do say love is blind, don't they? You know? She looks like she's back to her old self briefly. Yeah, these little, like, hyperactive moments, these triggers. She just snaps, doesn't she? I don't know how you cast this fucking movie, especially her role. My God, man. How do you, the director and her, how do you sit down and map this thing out? Unbelievable. Oh, now he's cutting himself. Fuck me, man. What is wrong with everybody in this film? Jesus. He's imitating her. Stop with the cutting. Oh, this is just grim, man. Fucking hell, man. 
Oh, he sliced off his arm and he just doesn't care. See, he's trying to like imitate her. He's looking, he wants her back, but she's somewhere else now, mentally. Beautiful camera shot, this. Oh, she's moved beyond physical pain. She's functioning on, on a fucking different fucking mental level. Fuck me. So the private eye, he's making moves. So he's tracking her movement around the city. This is going to be very nice. So she's in the supermarket. Oh, she looks so ominous. Black and white sunglasses. Yeah, great use of the city, this. Oh, he's a little bit close, isn't he? Beautiful camera work here. This yellow-ass train. Yeah, she looks spectacular right now. Yeah, costume design in this film is spectacular. Christ, look at the guy she sat next to. He's tripping out. Oh, he's looking over. Oh, private eyes looking back. Oh, it's, just, it's a fucking alcoholic. Survival tip, mate. Don't start engaging at. Oh, he's helping himself. Just stealing a fucking banana. No big loss. Just a banana. Take it, mate. Probably haven't eaten in weeks, have you, son? She don't fucking care. She's thinking about something else. Truly odd fucking city, isn't it? Very nice. I love this. St oh, music's getting ominous. Right. It's tracking her movement. The camera work here is just phenomenal. It really is. Yeah, the city, city feels so fucking grubby, doesn't it? Run down. Desolate. Derelict. Blue Mets. Oh, this PI's a bit of a twat. Yeah, these camera shots are fucking amazing. They really are. Look at this shot here. Tracking from right. Look at that, man. Yeah, you really get a sense of scope like the city's like looming above them almost so he's locked on to where she's at i guess yeah okay so stage one complete or at least he knows where she's heading off to so he can relay that back to mark I feel like this PI needs to hit the fucking gym. Runs up a few steps and he's out of breath. So he's just waiting outside, isn't he? The thing is, mate, you're not going to see much. You're only going to see her sort of enter and leave. It's difficult, though, because what has he got? I mean, he's just, he's just watching her for now. Oh, is he actually going to knock on the door? Shit. So he's lingering outside. Oh, here we go. There's nobody answering. Shit. I think she's a little bit fucking busy. Fucking hell, mate. So, it's her. So, oh, fatal error, mate. Just wandering in like this. Checking the... Look at the state of this interior. It's completely fucking derelict. Oh, he's a complete fucking idiot. 
Yeah, she, it's all... Oh, look at the way the camera's just roaming around the interior. There's something else in here. This is fucking creepy. Look at her eyes. She's like, don't. It's his inevitable demise reflected in her fucking reaction. Oh, yeah. Checking the windows, mate. You snooping bastard. I know you're doing your job. This guy's dead. No doubt about it. The blinds are down for a reason, you fucking idiot. Oh, fuck me. Surely the warning signs are all... The look at the state of this place. So she's luring him in a little bit here. She's going to start cranking up the sex appeal. So if I recall right, isn't there like this hidden area? Don't, don't go... Oh, she... Her hysterical laughing is going to be the death of him. She's going to fucking smack him over the head. Look. Oh, this will be the last wine you ever drink, mate. You're going to get shredded. What's... Has this guy got a stuttering problem? Yeah, you look, you're dead. She's just staring at the wine bottle. Oh, the blood, the carnage. Oh, shit. There's something writhing in the distance. There's a slippery beast. What is it, mate? And you've got to move towards it, you twat. It's definitely not fucking human. What the fuck? Is that a pair of eyeballs? Oh, she just smack him over the head, look. Oh, shit. Just stab him in the neck. No. Oh, my God, man. I love the way this is photographed. The, just the blacks and the blood red. Fucking hell, man. She is truly fucking crazed in this film. Wow, what a sequence. So that's the first indication of this, like, alien monstrosity, whatever, however you want to define it. So look, this is the, so this is Ajani playing this other character. So this must be, is it Helen, the teacher? How fucking strange. Yeah, this really threw me when I first saw it. I was like, what is going on? She's playing like two different characters. And what I like about this character is, oh, she, she's very normal. So much meat for Ajani to get into as an actress here. She's got the calmness of Helen and then the crazed manic nature of Anna. Wow. Oh, it's fucking Heinrich. Oh, it's me, Heinrich. I want to discuss with you 101 ways of philosophy. I've been giving you uh, a triangle on my fucking head. I'm not fucking drunk. I enjoyed our fucking kung fu antics where I kicked your ass I'm sorry that I'm spinning around like a dickhead ha Heinrich what the fuck are you been smoking mate did you have a wife and a daughter uh, Cincinnati you know where that, 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 that yes I always have my shirt undone because I'm so clever oh a Yeah, this guy's remarkable. Guy playing Heinrich, bloody hell. Almost like his 
Cray's performance, it mirrors Anna's a little bit, doesn't it? You get the male and the female hysterics of these two. Oh, yeah. Send him in. You'll get fucking shredded. Yeah, why not? Just let Heinrich know. Let him fucking simmer. You thought it was just me and you, mate? Well, there's another fucking man. Not so smart now, eh, Heinrich? I'm liking this. Mark sort of turning the tables back on Heinrich. You're not coming in, mate. Oh, what a line. There's nothing to fear except God. God is a disease. Wow. Powerful dialogue. Yeah, the film is incredibly bleak, isn't it? But also deep at the same time. Yeah, it's really uh, yeah, very thought-provoking stuff, this. You get it from a physical and a mental perspective. It's why I really enjoy it. So I've heard apparently the director of this film, he was going through quite a volatile divorce at the time during shooting this movie. So clearly, I think this is filtered over into the material. Yeah, I mean, I've not seen any like footage of the director shooting this movie, but I bet he was a little bit, bit on edge, you know, taking it to the limit. But it's good though, he's, he's got the casting on point. It's like his actors have certainly not let him down. They've actually gone above and beyond, haven't they? You know? Because probably you'd read the screenplay for this film, and I bet he's like, right, this is the, these are the moments, these are the words, blah, blah, blah. But you've got to, I need more. You've got to give me something more. And they could turn around to him and say, well, what is that? He says, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to figure it out on set when we're shooting. Kind of like a bit Kubrick-esque, isn't it? Probably shooting for long hours, you know, searching. Waiting for that spark, that magic moment that an actor can give you. So this is truly odd, man. Mark's like gazing at this Helen. It's her. This looks exactly like his wife. I like this though, because you could always you could almost read this that this is Anna before she went or it's before she lost her mind, so So it's really, really cool from that uh, perspective. So she's a bit of a deep thinker. Fucking hell. They're all scholars in this fucking city, aren't they? A bunch of fucking wordsmiths. Yeah, she's very much like the counter opposite of Anna, isn't she? Steady. She's a steady Eddie. Oh, he's captivated. He's touching his chest. Oh, slap and tickle. Incoming. What are you worrying about, Mark? It's, it's your wife, mate. He's playing two fucking characters, mate. Oh, intimate moment. Lots of nudity. Oh, I'm just going to lie on the bed, as you do. Very French new wave, isn't it? You know? 
lie on the bed, butt naked, deep dialogue. Play it in one shot. French New Wave 101. Oh, somebody's screaming. It's the kid. So the kid is clearly fucking scarred. Look, the parents did this. They fucked him up. He's imitating his fucking mother. These little ones, I want to be just like my mum. A fucking lunatic. Ah, difficult. Mark's had to prise him away from that. She's a complete fucking liability, though. She's not, she's never around. Oh, what? Sam Neill's fucking butt naked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sam. Shush your ass. So he's heading off. Yeah, it's quite interesting reading Helen's performance because what was throwing me, I was like, it's Anna. It's not, it's Helen, it's Anna. So it's always this, it's blurring the lines a little bit. So yeah, the guy's gone missing. Shit. Let's send another guy over. He's he's going to get taken out. Thing is, they've got to chase it up. Thing is, did he relay the location? Because he was a bit too full on from... He was very keen to get inside that uh, apartment, wasn't he? For now, yeah, Mark's changing a little bit here. Yeah. Again, though, it's this more that he's now found like Helen, so it's quelled him a little bit. He's not so keen to like track her movement or get like answers. So a strange thing. We've got two guys embracing hands here. It's very, very sexual, isn't it, throughout all of the characters. Very touchy feely, isn't it? How fucking strange, man. I do you think like everybody in this fucking city is possessed by something, you know? Many like manif manifestations of possession. All in like different forms. Oh here we go. Music's kicking in. Wow. These exteriors around the city are just phenomenal. So is this guy going to be... Oh, there she is. Oh, mate. Don't make it too obvious. Slowing down. Now he's following that. Or is he going straight up? Shit. Tracking to left. Oh, no, mate. Don't enter here by yourself. Oh, she's left the door open. Why is she leaving the door open? Why? She's just walked out and she's left the door open. Doesn't she want to conceal the fucking... She's left the door open. Oh, there she is. What the fuck? So it wasn't her leaving. Wow. Completely threw me. Oh, what? Oh, this guy's just done for. He's just walked in there blindly. Yeah, that really threw me a moment ago. I thought it was her leaving the building, but it's not. Oh, what the fuck? Very, very clever, because you're getting all this, like, you feel like you're seeing things and it's like, did I see that? Did I read that that way, you know? 
It's a true psychological onslaught watching this film. Oh, this guy. Oh, he sees lust. Oh, this. This guy's dead. He's lost his mind as well. Can't we have somebody sane in this fucking city? Oh, he's in there. Or well, at least this guy's suited and a fucking booted for his imminent fucking death. Christ, supposed to be a a PI. Completely oh blind, mate. He's dead. Oh, he's on the bed. Bloody corpse. Shit. Oh, it looks like he's a couple of tentacles apparent. Oh, this is oh, it's not my, It's the slippery fucking beast. What the hell is this? What is it? You can't even define what this is. Alien tentacled. It's not even properly formed. Yeah, I'd be like, it's a WTF times ten moment, isn't it? He's very tired. What is it, love? He made love to you all night. Are you alright, love? It's not even fucking human. See, so slip his fucking tentacles up your fucking bum, eh? So he's found the body. This guy's so stupid. He's got his... Oh, he's got his gun out. He can't even shoot straight. Oh, she's losing her mind. Uh, killing mode. Oh, she's tossing everything at him. Milk. She's hammering his head. Oh, he's dead. Brutal killing. Brutal. Oh, she's going to launch him at the fucking tentacled beast. Wow. Shot him three times. So what I think happened, he went to shoot at, did something stop him mentally? I mean, it could be the creature in the bed, for all I know, you know. He did, he seemed to freeze up. God, the film's so fucking raw, isn't it? You can almost, like, taste it. You can feel, like, Shit like flying at your face. It just feels grubby, doesn't it? Swimming in fucking milk and blood, this movie, eh? Ah, oh, it's Heimrich. So, Mark, is he watching? Is that Heimrich he's watching? Is that Heimrich with a camera? So, this... So this is Anna. I'm confused. Is this must be Anna? It's not Helen. This is Anna, yeah. Are we to assume this was Anna before? Because it looked like Mark was watching old uh, video footage. But this seems to be playing out like a real sequence. I'm not entirely sure here. Oh, she's a very intense teacher. Some ballet class. I love these sh shots where actors are looking right back at the audience. Makes it very intimate, doesn't it? Like we're being observed. Do it. Oh, this is phenomenal. It really is. Looking again at the camera. I believe whatever she's saying to me, I'm believing it. Hold it, love. Feel that pain. Oh, it's just some black swan action, baby. Hold that pain. Channel that pain. Whoa. It's actually literally killing our students. That 
That girl's never going to return. She's screaming. She's run off. Don't blame her. Get out of there. Crazy ass fucking teacher. From now on, when I tell you to do something, you do it. And I look at you, I look at the camera, and I'm talking to the audience. Wow, what a performance. That's why I'm with you. I'm not with you. You're fucking terrifying, love. You're scaring me. Stop looking at me. Wow. Wow. Christ, they really don't make them like this nowadays, do they? Oh, the subjective camera is relentless right now. I love the dialogue. It's like mad fucking ramblings, in it? Psychosis. Questioning reality, religion, nature of existence. Purpose. Lines blurring. She's talking about fucking chance. I'm struggling to keep up with her. She's too... She's too gone. Yeah, you can definitely see the director working through his shit here with this movie. I love it, man. Why not, eh? Yeah, I do feel sometimes cinema, it can, it, it can cross over, push the boundaries of what, it, you know, we perceive to be acceptable. Yeah, I do think the best form of forms of cinema should push buttons with the audiences, you know? Yeah, what can you... It's, it's not much more you can say about this performance. And we've not even got to the most manic moment. What the fuck, man? I mean, I'm pretty crazy, guys. But even this is too much for me. This movie, it's too much. Goodness is only some kind of reflection upon evil. Just when you thought the dialogue couldn't get any deeper. There's another duel. Wow. Fuck the clothes. Just toss them everywhere, eh? Nothing's... Everything's in disorder, in it? Over at her mind, her home. She's putting all of his clothes in the fucking fridge. And Mark continues to come over. Oh, it's my job. I'm a crazy mother. Look at me. Yes. Do you want to get in the fridge with me? Wow. So Sam Neill is still brilliant up until... It's definitely becoming more uh, uh, Adjani's vehicle now, this film. Why do you keep coming back, though, mate? You're fighting a lost cause with this one, man. You've got to say, Mark is going above and beyond to just sustain some form of connection with his wife. It's ridiculous, man. Is this what they say in the wedding vows, though, isn't it? Through thick and thin. And some with this movie. Fuck me. Oh, what is she doing? Yeah, look at her stress, man. So the internal conflict. She's changing inside. She's possessed. It's the creature in the bed that's physically, is it in her mind? He's the, the, you've got to assume the thing in the bed is 
it's got a psychic link with her. It's mind and body, though, isn't it? It's your fucking body horror, baby. Look at her. Fuck me. Why would you sit next to her? She's got fucking ants in her hands. The thing is, what I find annoying about Mark, whilst he's there for her, he's not getting her any fucking help, you know? Just letting it... Oh, she's quite normal. She's far from fucking normal, mate. Oh, God, just sedate her, knock her out. Oh, my God. Screaming. Look at these shots, man. Our intense gaze. Oh, you know how intense I can be. Wow, look at the eyes, the teeth, the mouth. Again, looking back at the camera. Fuck, this film so brilliant oh jesus man some of the images throughout are just haunting oh it's a little bit late for this love religion i think you're you fuck you're somewhere else you crossed over onto another different plane love plane of fucking madness Jesus don't want even opening his eyes to this love. He's like, nah, love, sorry, I can't, really can't help you. Oh, she's just whining. Oh, speak to me, Jesus. Jesus is like, I've gone on holiday, love, sorry. She's asking for help. There's just... Silence and our whining sounds. Yeah, it's pretty grim. Oh, bloody hell, man. Oh, shit. Is it? Is this it? Oh, here we go. It's the underground sequence. Fucking hell. Everything's about to get fucking... Oh, she's going off on one now. She's like, right, any, she's like, anybody watching the film, are you questioning whether or not I can do fucking crazy? Well, have a fucking look at this. I'm a real fucking nuts. Let's start eating the walls. It's possession times fucking a hundred. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to start spinning around. My bag's full of fucking milk. So I've always wondered... Is this a one take job? What I reckon, I reckon the director, he just kept the camera rolling and she was going at it for like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. This is unbelievable. Look at it. What is happening to her? Shredding the walls, smothering herself in milk, spinning. What the fuck, man? This ain't acting. This something else is happening here. I can't define what this is. I mean, you'd have to say this is beyond film acting. I'm speechless, man. She's swinging her head round. Wow, this is extraordinary. Yeah, I'm calling it, guys. I think this is the best acting moment ever in cinema. Fucking hell. I'm 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 fucking shaking. Yeah, it's it's as the title says, possession. Wowzers. She's like Reagan in The Exorcist. Ain't got shit on me. Wow, the screaming. Jesus Christ. It's unbelievable. You think when you like, 
Oh, surely it's going to end. No. She's now on the ground. She's going to lick that fucking milk. Oh, it's coming out of her mouth. Oh, shit. Well, she's been making love to this fucking... Is she giving birth? Oh, my God. It's coming out of every... Everywhere. It's coming out of her fucking bum hole. Oh, my God. So, uh, Miss Carriage... Very interesting. So we're to assume she's just she just recited that tale to Mark. Fucking hell. And he still sat by her. So yeah, I start I started spinning in the milk. Started it in the fucking wall. And Mark's like, oh, do elaborate, love. This is an amazing tale. Jesus, man. Where are all the sane people to in this fucking city, baby? He's lost his mind. He's on about a dying dog, a porch. Isn't even aware that she's just walked out. Is this, the whole, is this what the director's trying to... Is this a message of the film? I.e. Relationships make us all go a little bit crazy? I don't know. Not to this extent, though, surely. Oh, it's too late. Just... Oh, my God. She's got to leave. Oh, Mark, man. He, now he's on the ground begging. You ex- you're too accepting, Mark. Oh, so he's... Uh, So back with Helen. He's definitely setting Heinrich up for something. We're assuming his uh, imminent demise. Oh, this is so strange, man. Just seeing her playing this Helen character. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very... I'm not going to mention the eyes, but it's a big thing at the end. But... Yeah, we'll get to it in a minute. We're not far off. About 40 minutes left. What a brilliant movie. It's just outstanding. I'd say this is even better. Watching it second time around. Oh, it's Heinrich on his fucking moped. He's such a... How do you define Heinrich? Did you class him as like an alpha male type? Very full of himself, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's getting it on with Anna. Oh, the tentacle, the shredder ain't going to like it. Anna's not interested in Heinrich. She's been upgraded. Nah, Anna's like, let me introduce you to El Monstrosity and his wriggly fucking tentacles. Oh, the friend, a poet, a Michon. I kept it for you. I can never speak normal. Heinrich's just full of fucking quotes, isn't he? 
And it's luring him in here. Lure him into the other room. And let us swim in the bubbling stream. Oh, this is magnificent. It really is. I love how the music's kicking in. Yeah, it's all becoming very, very cinematic now. So it's like heightened surrealism, isn't it? It's just wowzers, wowzers. So where's this fucking beast to? Oh, she's clocked onto something. Heinrich's dead. He's going to perceive it. Here we go. Oh, what? So the the monstrosities now is it taking on like a almost human form? Heinrich's like it's a fucking joke. It's definitely getting stronger, isn't it? It's a joke. What is it? As I as he moves closer, what is it? It's got eyes, an elongated head, smothered in blood. Hello, mate. I hear you're Heinrich. Oh, can I shred you, Heinrich? Heinrich's... Oh, he's tripping out. So definitely, I think the moment you perceive it, yeah, he's almost like he's blinded. He can't see. So it's definitely... It's got some, like, mental powers in it of, like, disorientating its uh, victims... Oh, storing a fucking head in a fridge. Oh, Heinrich. You're no different as I cut you. The inflicting pain. There is no pain. Oh, she's just toying with him. Yeah, some metaphor for the film in it oh she stabbed him fuck me without hesitation oh heinrich you're done for you may as well just dive into the beast's fucking arms so like, take me if you need to shred me mate do it treat yourself Oh, he's, well, escapes, kind of. Yeah, so this creature, oh, it's on the bed now. It's definitely getting, oh, she's stripping naked. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more crazy. Fuck's sake, man. Wow, Heinrich, he's going to be bleeding out soon. He needs some hospital treatment. This film is fucking batshit crazy, isn't it? Quite interesting. If that's Heinrich calling Mark, I'm not saying they're like buddies, but it's, it's quite interesting that he's going straight to him. And then, though, he probably wants to tell him. Of course, Mark, Mark's like, yeah, I'll happily witness your fucking demise, mate. Yeah, thing is, Mark's in revenge. He's like, I want a piece of you, Heinrich. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can bleed, you twat. Mark's like, I'm going to take out the Kung, the Kung Fu King, Heinrich. Oh, Mark, he got the wrong, wrong end of the stick. He's like, oh, Anna's turned on Heinrich. I'm back in the game, you fucking idiot. What a beautiful shot this is. Low angle. Looming city. Love it. Oh, shit, Mark. Oh, he's heading inside. Fuck me. 
Oh, is the door closed open? What is it with people leaving the fucking door open? I think the monster wants to be found. I can't recall. Did she... I'm not sure if it's still in there. I can't remember. It's got to be in it. But I, I'm not sure if she's left. Yeah, I really can't tell. So the bed is clean. She's definitely, uh, she's had a bit of a tidy up. Oh, flies. Yeah, of course. Is the fridge empty? Quite interesting now it didn't cut. Oh, he's laughing like a lunatic. Uh, uh, are you spinning around? Uh, uh. As he just see, he's seen something hideous. He's losing his mind. So Mark's now doing a fucking Anna impression. He's spinning, shredding his vest. Ah, 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 Don't jump out, mate. Wow. Sam Neil's getting a little bit too fucking high. Oh, another amazing shot. Simple. Character in focus, city in the background, out of focus. Yeah, Mark is getting fucking skits here. Sam Neill does crazy so fucking well. Oh, shit. Oh, so, yeah, you can see the head, the severed hat. Oh, again, though, look. This is his love for Anna. He's going to fucking... He's going to burn the evidence. Look. So, oh yeah, I'll just torch the place. Cool shot. Tracking round. Ah, uh, this is the bar sequence with Heinrich. I remember this. Don't he try and kill him in the toilet? Fucking hell. I love in this like low budget look. It looks fabulous, man. There's just so much like visual variation in this film. Oh, it's a Heimrich. Oh, go to the toilets. Pretty strong old Heimrich. He took you know good. It was a good knife blow to the chest, wasn't it? Yeah, look, Mark. I mean, Mark's seen the evidence in the fridge. He's not seen the beast, the monster. But Mark's all about, I'm going to fuck you up, Heinrich, you twat. You beat my ass at the start of the film. Fuck you, mate. Yeah, I'm loving this. Mark's been a right little fucking shitbag. Oh, Heinrich, you thought you were so clever with words, eh? Look at you bleeding out. I really need to check out this Heinz Bennett uh, playing Heinrich. I really, I think he's very, very good in this. See what other films he did. Oh, Mark, so you believe in God? Well, you're about to be meeting him very soon. <laughs> Sam Neill does a wide-eyed expressions. Great, doesn't he? I always think of, like, uh, In the Mouth of Madness. Oh, John Carpenter, he's particularly good in that one. Yeah, do check it out, guys, if you like Sam Neill. Oh, it looks like I'm bleeding. Look, baby, I'm going about to die. Heinrich, mate. You're too intense. Oh, Mark, just end Heinrich. 
Heinrich, he's getting a little bit too much out of life. He's like a next level fucking human, isn't he? Christ, imagine knowing somebody like Heinrich in life. You'd be like, what the fuck, mate? You'd immediately think he's on fucking drugs. Oh, yeah, Mark. I've had enough of this fucking tit. Yeah, he's rigging it, isn't he? Yeah, here we go. He's going to make it look like he's uh, committed suicide. But he's going to drown the bastard head first. Fucking hell, man. Oh, luring him in. Textbook. Heinrich's like you throwing up. Oh, okay. My friend? Done for. Bang, boom. Thing is, you'd almost expect Heinrich to get up immediately. He, 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 he does seem a little bit like superhuman throughout. He's dead here, though. Oh, Mark, mate, you're possessed. Couldn't wait to end old Heinrich. Yeah, just going to make it look like... It. Thing is, in this fucking city, some guy put his, stuffed his head down the toilet. No one's going to care, you know? It's just standard. Happens every other day. There you go. Don't worry, Mark. You'll be as right as rain. Fucking hell, man. Film is so fucking grimy, isn't it? Feels dirty, doesn't it? You feel the dirt. So again, yeah, Mark's going above and beyond to help Anna. Such a delusional fucking idiot, isn't he? Does he really believe that he's going to get her back? Jesus Christ. So the apartment block, completely torched. Some crazy woman outside. Some hobo's like, yeah, it's on fire. Oh, this is the iconic shot where he falls off the bike. Yeah, watch the cinematography here. Yeah. I think it is the shot coming up. Or is it coming up a bit later? Yeah, it's the iconic moment from the trailer where he just slides off the bike. It's so cool. So is he... Oh, it's this bird. Oh, she's all cut up. What the fuck? She had her throat slit. Oh my gosh, she... did she just kill herself? Fuck me, man. Film, film. Can you just let up for a second, man? It's just a fucking barrage of fucking carnage. It's not the type of film you're going to sit your family down to, is it? Oh, it's a nice little Sunday afternoon viewing. Oh, shit. The question is, who was it then? It's covered in blood. Assuming that is this Anna? Helen? God, I'm guessing it's Anna. Mark is truly fucking gone now, isn't he? It's very interesting. This almost feels like roles have been reversed for a brief moment. It's like Mark's become the uh, the crazy one. And Anna's looking after him. I don't know. Maybe there is hope for the pair of them. I don't know. There was obviously something there before in regards to an actual relationship. Oh, she's still crazy. You can see it in her fucking eyes, man. Life's gone to shit. Let's just make love. Yeah, why not? Oh, 
oh, she's looking off. Do you believe in God? After watching this film, yeah, maybe I should take, maybe I should take it up, love. Let's just say I never want to encounter individuals like this in my life. Fucking hell, man. Oh, she's going to... Yeah, she's she's eyeing it up. Take me. So Anna's clearly not getting better. How unfortunate. Her fucking eyes, man. How do you... This again, it's just even acting. What is happening to this actress, man? See, I don't, I just don't think you, you don't think your way into a performance like this. I think it just, it just, it, it, it comes from, I don't know, uh, very difficult explaining it. It just comes from within, within her, isn't it? So it's manic, crazed energy. Yeah, I just don't, you don't think your way into this role, you know? It's more about letting go, I guess. Tripping out. So I do enjoy all the... Uh, Naked flesh, not for the wrong reasons, but I just think it adds to the film. Physical movie in it, body horror. Almost feels a little bit, uh, I mean, certainly when you get to the end, it feels very David Cronenberg, but we'll get to that in a moment. I mean, David Cronenberg's done some crazy shit, but I don't think anything on the same level as possession i do think possession is it's 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 like it's its own thing and it you can't compare it to another film ever I'm trying to think of like other movies i've seen where i've been like truly fucking I wouldn't say shocked, but I don't know, freaked out. I think Antichrist is a good one. Uh, that film was fucking all in. Yeah, that's a good one. It's all Lars von Trier. Yeah, worth checking out if you've not seen it. I think Irreversible is another good one. It's got a very memorable opening and it's quite great if we'd like the timeline where the story's told so what is he just going to dump the body so are we to assume she just killed herself fucking hell man there's just no let up how is Mark still functioning as a human? He still seems full of energy. Just stick a body in your boot and back to life, eh? No, no worries. Plenty of energy to answer the phone. Oh, is this some... Oh, yeah. Somebody chasing up on Heinrich. Oh, Mark. But have his story intact. Yeah, Mark's like, he's dead. Flushed his head down the toilet, love. Goodbye. Where? Oh. Crazy. 
Great shot this rotating around Sam Neill. Very good. Adds to the uh, manicness, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely for a film like this, the camera work needs to be a little bit hyperactive. Sort of mirror the uh, performances. What I do enjoy, though, is a lot of shots just play out. Like the performances play out. I think that's the way to do it, though. If it's, you know, technically this is like a low-budget movie, so... Yeah, you can sometimes get it all in one shot. Probably better for the actors as well. They can lose themselves in the uh, in the moment. I love how he's just flicking the light on and off. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. He's flicking the light on and off. Just keep his brain ticking over. Formulating it. Oh, wow. So is this Helen? Ah, oh, so confusing. Dual fucking characters. Like a fucking David Lynch first. Like Mulholland Drive. Oh, that's another crazy one. Yeah, for a, a bit of a mind fuck. Oh, Mulholland Drive by David Lynch. So this, yeah, this is definitely Helen. Oh, it's gone very still. So a new is this to we're assuming a new location. I don't know. Where are we to yet? Oh, Mark's heading upwards. I can hear something ominous in the distance. It's a woman's voice. She's... Oh, cries of horror. She's all... Oh, she having a fucking orgasm? She's playing with her tentacles. Mark, run. That's it, Mark. You run towards it, you idiot. So the sound's like... Impacting on him. He's losing his mind. She's getting aroused. Where is she to? Oh no, is she in bed with it? Oh shit, here we go. Oh, she's getting shredded. Oh, what, man? It's almost, it's literally human now. Just with the added tentacles. Mark's like, what? the fuck is this? Mark's like, I knew I was fucking batshit crazy. Oh, Mark's so intrigued. Oh, treat yourself, son. You play with those tentacles. I kind of like how he's not flipping out. It doesn't seem ex almost. Almost, yeah, it's almost. It's it's manifesting into something human. Wow. Is it Mark? Yeah, isn't it Mark? Yeah, isn't it reforming into him? I wonder if that's the re... Yeah, is that a realisation there? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, this is really fucking fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, definitely coming up. I will say this last. 
what, 15 to 20 minutes. This is where it really shifts over into like a, a kind of Cronenberg type of ending. I love it. I think the ending is fabulous. It's quite remarkable that, that they were able to pull it off because it's such like high concepts throughout high acting. It's high everything, isn't it? But i got to say as well, I think the creature effects are unbelievable. It's really clever as well. I think it's more down to the lighting. Yeah, they don't show too much. And what you do see, it's just all kinds of weirdness. It's like something out of a fucking Lovecraft novel. You're like, what is what is it? Tentacled fucking humanoid. Slivering beast. Yeah, they just show enough and they don't show too much. Filmmakers take note, you know, less is always more. Yeah, it's the power of suggestion. That's the key thing. Especially in a genre like this, you know. You trust the audience, let them fill in the blanks. Because sometimes when you fill in the blanks as a viewer, it's it's even more terrifying. You know? So this is Heinrich's mum. Religious love. Oh, she's popping pills. She had enough. She about to end herself. It's probably for the best, love. If only you knew the hideous things that are going on in this city. Oh, an incredibly bleak fucking movie, eh? Fucking hell, mate. How fucking depressing is this? Jesus. Don't have to get about in this film, old Mark. Is he going to check her pulse? Oh, window's opening. There's a cool breeze. It's time to head off, Mark. Come on, son. Oh, next day, maybe? It's a nice bridge sequence. The film's just slowing down for a brief second. Oh, is he being watched? Oh, music. Oh, it's a shredded fucking mutt in the fucking lake. Oh, who's this? That dog didn't die of old age. Oh, is he being tracked? Oh. What is going on here? What is this dog sequence? So Mark's being watched. Are these people he's supposedly working with? So we're not entirely sure on his like job profession. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the bike shot. Keep waiting for this bike shot. It's from the trailer. Or has it already happened? Did I miss it earlier? Pretty sure it's coming up. So police are moving in slowly. So Mark's sort of tracking their movement. Now he's going to head off. He's grabbing a taxi or someone. Okay. Okay. Pretty 
pretty intense. He's obviously going to roll out. A little tuck and roll. Oh, nice. Wow. It's all a distraction though, isn't it? Give himself some time. Oh, he's trying to save Anna. Oh, gun down. Wow, wow. Yeah, he was trying to save her, wasn't it? What a hero, eh? He's all in with his fucking wife. Oh, it's a body. It's cars blowing up. Oh, this is the bike shot, isn't it? Here we go. Yeah, this is a brilliant moment. Yeah, I just sort of love the way it's filmed. Sam Neill screen. It looks like it's actually Sam Neill bombing along. Fuck me. Ah! Here we go. Sliding off. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Yes, yeah, it's very much uh, Mark's last stand here. Going out all guns blazing. Beautiful. Yeah, I got a, got a shout out Sam Neill. Yeah, more than uh, holds his own in this film. Phenomenal. So, here we go. We're moving to the big revelation. Just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier. Here we go. So he's on the brink of death. He's done for. He's crawling up the banister. Can he reach the top? I don't think you're going to like what you see at the top, mate. I do believe the old monstrosity is now completely reformed. And you're going to see a very familiar reflection, son. Let's be having you. Oh, police are moving in. We're assuming it's the police. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, actually, no. I think it's... Is it Anna? Right. Anna and who is it? Here we go. Brace, brace yourselves. This is unbelievable. This is such a good reveal. Oh, don't worry, Mark. You do live on, just not you. It is you. Kind of you. It's an upgraded version of Mark. Here we go. Oh, I love this. Here he is, look. It's Mark times one. Ah, oh, it's all in the eyes. Look at the eyes. Hello. Oh, Mark's perceiving himself. How so? So I see that creature, whatever it is. It's got like shape-shifting capabilities. Sort of took, I don't know, Mark's DNA. And then sort of become him. Oh, they're getting gunned down. Oh, this guy, he's fucking invincible. So this is really like, you're thinking, what the fuck? So Anna's, so we got Mark dead, Anna on the brink. You're thinking, oh, so what about Anna? Oh, bloody hell. Kissing covered in blood. Yeah, so this version, this Anna, this is still human Anna. What are the police fucking waiting for? They're just gazing up. She's going to kill herself. 
through the back. Fucking hell, man. Ended both of them. I love how the music's kicking in. So there's up upgraded Mark. He's heading off. It's completely invincible. Yeah, gunshots ain't going to kill this thing, whatever it is. Superhuman creature. Dulu, dulu. Oh, that must be a... Yeah, she's like, yeah, you can go through the top, mate. Don't kill me. Oh, he's very persuasive. With a gun. Oh, it's like... Yes, yeah, definitely got some, like, mind control shit on the go here, isn't it? Look. She's fallen underneath his fucking gaze. Yeah, what an awesome ending. Wow. I love this music. Brilliant. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, matey in his pink socks. Do, 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 do. So just one final twist. So we're back with Helen. Helen, who we think, oh, Helen's just normal. Not quite. You thinking Helen's done for? No. Helen's got a new friend. So the kid's got his family back, but the parents, basically the parents have been upgraded. He's now got super, superhuman fucking parents. Well, don't kill yourself, son. The fuck? He's just playing dead, surely. It's all kicking off outside. Very nice visuals, lots of bright lights. Upgraded marks trying to get in. Look at the eyes. Yeah, this is an upgraded Anna Helen. Yeah, she's not human. Fucking hell. Look at it. Look at the eyes. It's all in the eyes. Wow. What an ending. What a fucking movie, man. Unbelievable. So the question you got to ask yourself, at what point was... Um, well, we, what we've got to assume Anna, she was upgraded to Helen. So that obviously there was a manifestation there. It's really, really cool. Because you're not... You get introduced to Helen sort of halfway through, so you're not thinking, but come the end, yeah, it's the eyes, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, two upgraded versions. All, they look unkillable. Brilliant ending, though. There's no sequel, there's nothing, it just ends. Yeah, so you can just, like, fuck, speculate as to whatever else occurred afterwards. Jesus, man. What a fucking great movie, man. So good. Even better watching it second time round. Fabulous. So, guys, this is John Doe. So, today, I've been covering Possession. Anybody still listening, credit to you. This is a, a special kind of movie. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed the commentary, uh, give me a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to my channel. I will look to cover more, like, edgy obscure films moving forward um but i'll be back again very soon bye now